Hello everybody, I hope you're keeping well. It's Sunday here in Alberta and I'm from Ireland if you pick up um, an accent and you don't already know me, which hopefully most of you already do. So this video's topic, we're looking at PPAR receptors and fats and oils and how we can use them to upregulate fat burning. I have done videos on this before. Uh, I've done several videos and several posts on this before, but I'm hoping that this video is going to be more of like a summary to explain to people how it works because um, lately in my newest group in the HEDA guide, um, several of the members have been asking about bulletproof coffee and how does that work and do I mean a bulletproof coffee when I talk about using fats um, or even MCT oils to upregulate fat burning so hopefully this video clarifies all of that a little bit so uh, I suppose we'll start with a bulletproof coffee no, we won't. We will start with PPAR receptors and what are they? So the easiest way to explain, and not to get too much into the biochemistry of this, because when, when you do, people just lose all track of it. So the easiest way to explain PPAR receptors is they're like light switches, and we have them all over our body. Um, the majority of them are in our liver, but we do have them all over our body. And these light switches or PPAR receptors, um, they tell your body what type of fuel to burn. So you're either going to burn fat for fuel or you're going to burn sugar for fuel. And that's kind of the main job of the PPAR receptors. So once we know that, we think, well, if this is like a light switch, then maybe I have the ability to turn it on or off and use it to um, play in my favor. And we can, we absolutely can. So, um, when you go to sleep at night, the majority of us go into some sort of fat burning state when we go to sleep at night. Um, some of us more so than others. It really depends on when you stopped eating, before bed, what your last meal was, what your lifestyle is like and so on, like how much muscle you have, uh, how sensitive are you to flip in between fuel sources. But we pretty much all go into some sort of fat burning when we're asleep at night. So when we wake up, that means that we're in fat burning mode most of us unless you've been eating in your sleep or something which hopefully you haven't so you wake up and you're in fat burning mode so now is the time that you want to upregulate your fat burning or make more fat body fat burning happen and how we would do that is really smartly with oils or fats so when you're in fat burning, if you give your body fat, you're saying, here is fat, burn this fat, and when this is fat is gone, keep burning fat. Um, but if you give your body sugar, you're saying, here is sugar, burn sugar, turn off fat burning, and burn sugar because it's it's a faster, more efficient source of fuel. We can get through it faster, it provides energy faster, and our body will go for that um, because it's a primal survival instinct. So now that we understand that, we look at, well, how would we stimulate or upregulate fat burning with oils and fats? Well, one thing we can do is we can give your body the tiniest, smallest amount of fat, like 10 calories, not even a lot of calories, um, to say, ooh, ooh, here's a little bit of fat. Fat is in abundance. Burn fat. When this fat is gone, continue to burn fat, which, of course, is going to be your body fat. So we're signaling those PPAR receptors, and they, they see fat. They taste fat, and they're like, oh, where she wants us to burn fat. We're burning fat, so we're going to keep burning fat. So in the morning, what we can do, if we're in our fasted state, 
we are going to give our body or we can you can if you want you don't have to give yourself a little bit of fat so just the smallest like two mils like not even half a teaspoon of fat um and that's going to stimulate or signal to those pea power receptors to burn more fat. So the fats I really like to use for this are you can use olive oil if you like olive oil and you have a really good high grade olive oil. You can use extra virgin olive oil. Um, but I really like um, Bulletproof's Brain Octane for this because obviously it's a really clean bioavailable source of MCT oil which means that your body can use it more readily without having to worry about converting it. Um, so yeah, your body will convert it into ketones, but it's still a fat. So you can use that. Um, there is another product that I use and several of my clients use. So that's um, a product called Amp V by ATP Science. So you can use that. Um, and you're just using the smallest amount, the smallest amount. Now, what you're not doing is taking a bit of fat to signal P power receptors and only giving it like half an hour and then going and having your meal. You want to be doing this in a time frame where you know, I'm not going to be having my next meal for a couple of hours. So maybe you're having that at 8 a.m. and your first meal is not till 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. or 12. Um, so you're you're giving your body time to burn that little bit of fat which won't take too long but then to also get the process running for burning all the rest of the fat that you want off your body so you want it to tap into your own fat store so you got to give it time you're not just taking some fat signaling the pea power and saying okay that was half an hour ago i'm going to go have breakfast now because that's not going to work in your favor at all at all so it's just the smallest amount of fat it's ideal to do it before a fasted workout because you're going to tap into your fat stores a lot more than once you've burned through all muscle glycogen um, during your workout then you're going to tap into your fat st stores a lot more if you've stimulated or signaled your pea power receptors also when we do say a fasted workout we have the ability to increase amp k activation a lot more so amp k is basically the signal in your cells that says we're burning fuel we're burning fuel we're burning fuel like we're burning fuel and then so amp k is going to say hey p power receptors we're burning fuel and then the p power receptors they say which fuel we're burning but now, if you've done a fasted workout, let's say fasted cardio or um, an intense resistance training session, uh, now you have like your AMK, like an alarm. It's saying, we're burning fuel, we're burning fuel, we're burning a lot, a lot of fuel. Let's upregulate whatever PPAR says what fuel we're going to burn. So let's upregulate the burning of that fuel, whichever fuel it is. And if you have told PPAR that that fuel is fat, then AMPK is going to say, we're burning, 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 you're burning fat, 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 loads of fat. Um, but otherwise, if you didn't do a fasted cardio resistance training workout or anything like that, you still have AMPK will be saying, we need to burn fuel to survive. Which one are we going to go with? And then what signal you've told PPAR, PPAR is going to say, we're going to burn this fuel. Um, the majority of us want to be burning fat as much as possible. Um, so then that leads me to the bulletproof proof coffee question because then people are like will a bulletproof coffee work then for this and the answer is both yes and no so one when i said signaling PPAR, how i've just described it we're using the smallest amount of fat like two mils uh which is like 10 15 calories depending on what fat source you use like it's the smallest amount now when we make a bulletproof coffee the majority of us if you're doing it right and you're doing it how dave asprey tells you to you're using like two tablespoons of mct oil two tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter you're emulsifying them 
that brings you to depending on which MCT and which butter you're using that brings you to 500 calories or more that looking at that that is a meal in itself that amount of calories is a meal in itself the majority of people would not burn through those calories in a workout and I'm saying the majority because the majority of people are going into the gym and going there for an hour and a lot of them are only burning if even 200 250 calories so you think of it like that a bulletproof coffee is a meal the idea behind Dave Asprey creating a bulletproof coffee was that he'd have fuel to optimize his performance um, on days that he was really busy and didn't have time to eat or stress about eating and then later on the day he might just have one meal later on the day it was created as a meal replacement so um, bulletproof coffee is great as it is and sometimes rarely but sometimes I'll recommend it to a client if I feel like she's too stressed or too busy to eat this will be a source of energy for her not necessarily a great nutrition source but it will be a source of energy um, but it's a meal because of that many calories so yeah you're going to burn fat for fuel you're going to burn that fat in the bulletproof coffee for fuel um and then when those 500 or whatever calories it is are gone then yeah you'll burn your own body fat but if you have the bulletproof coffee say for your first meal at nine or ten and it's taken you all morning to burn through those calories and it depends on how active you are what you're doing and then you have lunch at 12 or 1 and then you have dinner later at 5 or 6 your chances are you're not going to be tapping into your own body fat stores um, so you got to be smart when you use bulletproof coffees you got to understand how they work and then of course how your body works and what your lifestyle is like but when we look at using fats and oils for p power receptors for uplet regulating fat burning we're only talking about the smallest amount of fat and you can even and i have done this and i generally sp stick to two meals a day and i'll do like um two meals 8 a.m before my workout and my workout's usually two two and a half three hours long and then if halfway through the workout i'm starting to feel shot or fatigued or i'm trying to work on my hand grip or something then i might have another little bit of fat so another two meals to stimulate that energy again and give me a bit more energy so you can do that or you can just do the fat whatever it may be extra virgin olive oil even a bit of coconut oil will work mct oil amphi you could do that at 7 a.m 8 a.m and then you know your first meal is not going to be 10 or 11 so those hours between when you do that bit of fat and your first meal that is going to upregulate or increase your fat burning a bit more until your first meal and then if you don't have time to have a first meal yes you could technically you could do another two meals that will get you through to lunchtime and the more you do that the more you're going to be upregulating or stimulating burning your own body fat fuel then if you didn't have time for lunch yes you could do another two meals as well um, and then have your dinner not very advisable to just do it all day unless you're a very skilled finely tuned athlete or know your body very very well or you're working with a professional that can guide you um, it's not wise to just be doing that all the time think of malnutrition think of fatigue think of your hair falling out there's a lot to take into consideration but this video explains hopefully in summary a little bit more clearer how it works with the pea powers and the fats and the oils and upregulating or stimulating fat burning i hope you found this helpful helpful i'm trying not to drag it on too long if you have any questions you know where to find me website is shemainsmodelhealth.com also the same on facebook um, and yeah enjoy the rest of your day and bye bye